What's up everyone, More Snow here, welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to be talking about Doom's plan. So let's get straight into the video. So Doom, his main overall goal is that he wants to make basically the perfect society. We learn this in Zero War as he kills Gunner and goes back to Ladveria. He wants to make his own version of the Imagined Order, the perfect society. And that plan kickstarts at the beginning of this season, or should I say at the end of last season, as he double crosses Megalodon, takes Pandora's box for himself, and then season 4 starts with him consuming the powers of Pandora's box. But there's one little halt to his plan. In doing that, it's damaged his armor, because Pandora's power is so strong that even his armor can't withstand it. So he's had to go off the island, off the world, to basically construct new armor. He's getting some of the parts and the resources from the island, but he's off away from the island, basically constructing his new armor. And before he did that, he recruited some villains on his on his team, basically people like Emma Frost, the Mysterios, basically set up his kingdom. He rifted parts of his home world of Ladvaria onto the island and left Doom bots to basically control over it and revolt. He's using Doom bot technology to basically control his army remotely to restore and control, basically control order on the Fortnite Island to basically take control of it. And he's using Mysterio to basically like make illusions to make everything seem perfect. Well, obviously, he ends up getting defeated, but you know that's just that's not really focused on this video. He's also currently gathering forces like army troops and everything to prepare for the war against Hope. He's basically gathering like loyal subjects and basically putting like chips into their head to basically mind control them and that's basically what the Doom henchmen are. And then the strongest of the strongest ones that get recruited are the ones that become Doom bots themselves, like not just the henchmen, like the actual big main Doom bots that you see at, at Doom's castle. So basically kind of how it works is basically when he, he's off, Doom's followers become part of Doom's army, they become Doom henchmen, either Doom henchmen or they become main Doom bots, and that's basically what's happening when you're capturing the Doom Island in a public game. That's not you becoming Doom, that's you being worthy enough to become a Doom bot and possess some of Doom's powers. So basically you've got like, you know, you've got the Doom henchmen, then you've got the higher up, like the generals, the Doom bots, then you've got the higher ups, like Emma Frost, the Mysterio, and then Doom's at the top. And that's basically what Doom's trying to do, so gather forces for the war against Hope and the heroes. Now besides that, it's not actually just Doom wanted to make the perfect society, he actually also wants to save his mother from Mephisto. And in the upcoming update on the 4th of October, Doom's actually going to summon Mephisto to the island and battle him to save his mother. And then after that, that's his side focus out of the way, and he put all his attention to destroying Hope and ending that prophecy of Hope defeating him and finally being victorious and having his ultimate goal that he's always wanted, the perfect society. And Doom's actually working with a mysterious Fortnite villain who we've actually had in the storyline before, but if you want to know who I, who I think that is, you have to stay tuned for my next video, which is coming out next week, which I'll be explaining exactly who that is. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.